Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. Welcome to today's video where we're gonna take a look at a classic combination, jeans and a hoodie, and how to make that look a lot more interesting. I've got six different outfits for you, pointing out a lot of different things. I wanna start off with like the base assumption of what a hoodie and jeans looks like to me that is just a little bit too basic, is a simple blue jean, no details, um, a hoodie that's gray or black or navy or even tan, a simple jacket and some white sneakers. That's usually how I see men wear it and you can wear that same combination, but you can make it a lot more fashion. And that's exactly what we're gonna dive into today. We're gonna talk about outerwear, footwear, accessories, and we're also gonna talk about color, fit, and details. With that said, let's jump right in and start with the first category and that's going to be outerwear. Now I'm a huge outerwear fan in general. The right jacket can make or break an outfit, especially if it's a simple one. So with a jeans and a hoodie, you have a few different options that I think look absolutely phenomenal. A lot of those you might be familiar with, but I wanted to compile a list so you have it all in one place. The first being, if you want to dress it up, a hoodie with an overcoat or a trench coat, it looks just great. We currently aren't super into like the, the dressed up vibe, uh, as a whole community. But if you want, I, I still like dressing up a little bit more and making it a bit more classy from time to time. If you want to do it, I think with a hoodie and jeans, it can look really great, especially if you combine it with raw denim and a pair of nice Chelsea boots, as well as a slim fitting hoodie, as you can see me wearing right here. We'll dive into those things a little bit more later on. Second option would be a really dope leather jacket. That's a classic, an iconic staple, and it is also like a classic look, like the hoodie with the leather jacket. But I wanted to point it out, like I said, straightforward, it goes just really, really hard. If you keep that all black, it looks just dope. The third more obvious one, and then we got three less obvious ones coming, would be the bomber jacket. A bomber jacket is always a classic, and I feel like hoodies and bomber jackets are just made for each other. The collar goes nicely around the neck, and the hood can just rest on top of it. It looks phenomenal, and you can really have fun with different colors and contrasting those two pieces. Now, less often, we think about vests, less often we think about shirt jackets, and less often we think about puffer jackets as a statement piece. Not as a simple puffer jacket just so you're warm, like a functional piece, no. So in this case, I'm wearing an H&M chocolate brown puffer jacket that I got in an extra large size, so I have that oversized look. That is a special piece to me, especially if you style it in a whole monochromatic look. A vest can be a dope, dope piece, a puffer vest, it's still pretty cold out and it's gonna transition nicely into the spring, so that's a great piece to play around with. And then lastly, shirt jackets. Shirt jackets have had this like massive movement for the past three, four years now. And something like this faded green corduroy over shirt from H&M is perfect to rock this combo and make it just stand out a little bit more. Moving on to category number two, and that is footwear. Now footwear, a simple white sneaker is always gonna look good. And please, uh, let me say this once, a simple combo of blue jeans, simple hoodie, white sneakers, and a solid jacket can look Great, it absolutely can, but we're talking about making it a little bit more special, making it a little bit more stylized. So either you're gonna go for like a standout sneaker, like a nice dope runner, like a New Balance, like a few different colors, off-white like I'm wearing here, but just something that stands out a little bit more and can really make the outfit. I tend to judge an outfit like from the bottom up. I start with the footwear, footwear is the most important thing to me, next to then outerwear. Those are like the two categories, that's why I'm starting this video off with that. I think a simple look can really be elevated by the proper footwear and the proper outerwear. The second option is to opt for boots. And boots, you have a lot of different options, obviously. You have your combat boots, you have uh, jodhpur boots, your classic Chelsea boots that go well with the coat, as we talked about, or you have your more fashion-forward Chelsea boots, like these ones right here from ASOS that just look phenomenal. You can also go for a hybrid, like these Convert crafted sneaker boots that are um, a fan favorite and one of my favorites. So please just pay attention to your footwear, play around with color, and play around with standout shoes to make the simple combo pop more. Next up, number three, and honestly, accessories are the easiest, most straightforward way to make any simple outfit stand out a lot more, make it more you, make it just more embellished and more dynamic. So this can mean a nice watch, this can mean some rings, this can mean sunglasses, this can mean different hats, whether that's a beanie or a cap. It can mean bags, like a crossbody bag or even a backpack. Those things easily upgrade your entire look even if you keep it simple otherwise. What you want to look for here is a little bit of color coordination like with an all black outfit maybe a few black accessories like a black watch and a black bag but uh, in other cases you want to maybe keep it a bit more simple like a silver watch and a silver pair of glasses. Just be aware that this is an option for you to easily upgrade that combo of jeans and a hoodie. Okay point number four let's talk about fit. Now let's talk about 
jeans fit first. You can go for a lot of different fits from skinny, which I don't necessarily recommend anymore in 2022. You can go for a slim. Slim, straight, relaxed, cropped or not, but the fit needs to be right. You need to find the right size. A lot of guys I see wearing like a jeans and a hoodie, they just have saggy jeans with like a weird drop crotch. Like the jeans are sitting down here when they're supposed to sit up here. There is a jean for you out there and if you want to find one on budget, I actually recently shot a video about like my favorite pairs of jeans on a budget so you can check that out right up here. And the same honestly goes for the hoodie. You can go for a slimmer fit if that's more your aesthetic. You can go for a more relaxed fit if that's more your aesthetic. But I think the fit with a hoodie is a lot more easily accomplished than it is with jeans just because legs are so, so different and a hoodie just kind of like plops on and then we're good to go. Category number five, color. Let's here start talking about the hoodie. Like the one I'm wearing right now from Mack Weldon and this beautiful burgundy color. You also see here a nice chocolate brown, for example, simple tan. Um, I actually don't have too many crazy colors on here, but I do have like a mineral green, I have a pink, I have a light blue, I have a bunch of different colored hoodies that just make that a lot more fun. You can of course also play with the color in the jackets that you throw on top of the hoodie, like you see here with this nice burgundy bomber on top of that tan scotch and soda hoodie. In terms of jeans, mostly with the jeans I stick to either white and then like a range of blue all the way to dark blue raw denim, which is great, like a great color for a more classy look. But Denim is cotton and cotton can be colored like these express skinny, I think they're a skinny fit but they fit fairly slim, um, brown jeans. And then an overall note, you can keep it really simple with an all black outfit that looks so so dope. Even a simple combination like jeans and hoodie with the right accessories, with the right jacket, the right footwear in all black looks great. You can go for a more standout monochromatic look like this all brown one right here that is definitely a uh, a little bit harder to pull off. I'm not even entirely sure I love all those pieces 100% together just because the browns are a little bit off. So you kind of have to watch out for that, but just know that that's available to you. And then otherwise, you know, just try and have fun. For me, denim color is, is simple, like it's a neutral, so you can have a lot of fun with the hoodie and the sneakers and the jacket. But if you want to go for something a bit more standout, white jeans also go really hard for me year round. So that's it in terms of color from me for today. Now category number six, the last one, let's start talking about the jeans. The category is details. Now with your denim, the details are uh, somewhat limited. You can go for a distressed look with some rips in your knees, for example, or a patchwork look where you have some distressed details as well. But otherwise, like, I'm wearing a pair of carpenter jeans right now. That's a couple of pockets, so it's so minimal, but it does add a little bit to the look. I think the biggest thing you can do in terms of uh, details with your denim is how you cuff them at the bottom, uh, which relates back to fit and like the length of the jean to begin with. But I think cuffing really gives it a nice aesthetic either once, like you can go for a smaller cuff, a bigger cuff, a double cuff, depending on what your footwear is looking like and you see some inspiration here, I'm gonna show you all the looks back to back in just a second. There is a lot of flexibility in, in switching up the vibe of a jean, whether that's relaxed or whether it's more slim fitting um, with playing with the cuff. With the hoodie, uh, details are kind of limited to some graphics, you find some more designer pieces or some more standout pieces that have like other details but in the mainstream like primary style area there's really not a lot of like destruction or a whole lot of pockets. Something to look out for is the different pockets that you have like whether it's a kangaroo pocket or two separate pouch pockets like I have right here but that's not really affecting the look as much but you can go for simple graphics in the front, simple graphics in the back. You can um, tie your drawstrings which I think you know is a big vibe right now just bringing this up here a little bit it changes kind of like the aesthetic and the silhouette towards the neck I tend to push up my sleeves um, when I wear my hoodie without anything up top just because I think it gives it a nicer silhouette once more and then another thing to play around with if you want to is just to have your t-shirt peeking out a little bit so here I'm wearing a great t-shirt underneath from forever 21 that could be nice to just add a really nice subtle color into the outfit maybe to pick up something else that you haven't really repeated yet that color in the same outfit. And that's pretty much it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna show you the looks really quick, all six back to back. You can enjoy that in three, two, one.
Now I'm officially done. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please leave comments, thoughts, questions, concerns down below in the comment section. Make sure to thumbs up the video so I know that you guys liked it and sub to the channel. If you want to see more content, like this. I'll see you guys very, very soon with the next video. Thank you for watching. And until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye, y'all.